Hello, hello, my name is Sophia, and this is an audio version of my blog entry entitled The Hidden Potential of Public Twitter Lists. Introduction. Twitter is still one of the best social media platforms to start your OSINT investigation. With the vast user base who share content in real time, the platform is a goldmine for OSINT analysts seeking to gather data on a variety of topics. In a previous article titled How to Monitor Oppressive Regimes on Twitter Using TweetDeck, I explain how to set up a TweetDeck dashboard to monitor and track data on possible human rights abuses using the Islamic Republic of Iran as an example. The tutorial contains step-by-step instructions on how to create custom decks with numerous columns containing complex searches, lists, or targeting specific users. I specifically warn that you should always set your Twitter list to private to avoid getting blocked and losing access to the content shared by the person or organization you are monitoring. But not everyone follows that advice. This means that public Twitter lists can also be a great source of data for open source analysts. They can expose interests, affiliations and connections to anyone who stumbles upon them. In this small tutorial, I'll explain how you can find all public lists created by a Twitter account, find public Twitter lists containing a specific profile and find public lists containing a specific keyword and its limitations. So find all public lists created by a Twitter account. There are two very simple ways to find all public lists created by a Twitter account. First, find public Twitter lists through user profile. On the Twitter account you're targeting, click on the three dots located next to the follow button or next to the mail icon if the user has direct messages enabled. Afterwards, select view lists. That's it. Below you can see two examples of space agency Twitter accounts one with the direct messages enabled on the left and one without it. So I have it here and I can just show you. You can see there's the three buttons there next to the mail icon. And when you click on the dots, you can just choose view lists and there you go. This is it. They have not created any, but that's fine because you can do the same. Here you go again, the three dots and you click on it, view lists and this one will have some lists. Back to our tutorial. Method two, find public Twitter lists through address bar. Alternatively, you can simply type the direct location on the address bar as such. So you have twitter.com slash the username slash lists and replace the username with a Twitter handle of your choice. So if you use the same examples as seen above, you'd write twitter.com slash house space agency slash lists to see all the lists for the Australian space agency Twitter account or twitter.com slash ESA slash lists for the list created by the European Space Agency. So you go, you have the first one and the second. But not all Twitter accounts have public lists, so it's possible that you may not find much information. When you employ the method mentioned above, you may encounter three types of results. You could either see the public list created or managed by the account. You can receive a message stating that the profile hasn't created any lists or you can encounter a blank page. The screenshots below illustrate the potential outcomes. The left image displays all the public lists from the European Space Agency, as we have seen here, there you go. While the top right screenshot shows a message stating that the Australian Space Agency hasn't created any lists, as we have also seen here. There you go. They have not created any public lists. The bottom right screenshot demonstrates the results when searching for Twitter slash com ESAA slash lists. A blank page indicates that the Twitter account you're searching for simply does not exist. It's likely that you misspelled the handle or if the account really exists, it has been suspended. So you go, you get nothing. And back again. So find public Twitter lists containing a specific profile. Examining the list created or managed by a Twitter profile provides valuable insights into the account owner's interests. However, it only presents one side of the equation. To gain a comprehensive understanding of the online impact of a Twitter account, it's equally important to analyze the data from the other side of the coin. Therefore, it is crucial to also search for public lists that have added your target Twitter account to their lists. By doing so, you can access details such as list names and descriptions alongside the complete roster of members who were also added to that specific list. This type of information provides additional data on user networks, 
type of online presence and how an account is perceived by its audience. There are two ways to find all Twitter lists containing a specific profile. First one, you find public Twitter lists through user profile. This method only works if you are the account owner. To see the public lists that have added your Twitter account, you navigate to the list section on the left sidebar and then click the three dots at the top of the screen, you'll be there, and you finally select lists you're on as seen below. And I can show you, I have my account here. There you go, so I click lists there and there's the three dots and there you go, lists you're on and it will give me a list of all the lists that have publicly added me to their list. That's a lot of lists. Let's go back. So this will display the complete public lists where other Twitter users have added your account, providing insight into the type of content people associate with your profile. For example, my Gralix Twitter account is predominantly included in OSINT lists as one would expect. If I were to find a list entitled Tree Experts or Bodybuilding, I would be very, very confused. <laughs> But what if instead you want to find other people's lists? That can also be arranged. So number two, find public Twitter lists through address bar. Similarly to the previous section where we learn how to find public lists created by a Twitter account, you can do the same to discover lists that include a specific account by using the address bar. You simply enter twitter.com slash username slash list slash memberships. For example, if you want to explore the public list where my Gralix Twitter account has been added, you would type twitter.com slash Gralix slash list slash memberships as seen below. So here you go, it's there. The number of followers a Twitter account has often plays a significant role in its inclusion within various lists. Accounts with a large follower base are more likely to be added to multiple lists as they attract attention and influence within the platform. Additionally, accounts that focus on controversial or widely discussed topics tend to generate polarized opinions, resulting in their inclusion in both supportive and opposing lists. These polarized lists are curated by groups or individuals who either align with or oppose the account's viewpoints. Therefore, analyzing the lists a Twitter account is associated with can offer insights into its popularity, influence, and the diverse range of opinions it elicits within the Twitter community. Let's consider Andrew Tate's Twitter account as an example. If we were to quickly scan through the names of the lists which have added him, we would gain insight into how the Twitter community perceives his content. Below are various examples that I may have or not handpicked to illustrate my point. And feel free to pause it and really read the names of some of these lists because I love them. They're amazing. So find public lists containing a specific keyword and its limitations. By now we have covered how to find all the public lists created by a Twitter account and how to find those who have added your target account to their collection. But we can go a bit further. Twitter provides the ability to search for public lists containing specific keywords. This approach is extremely valuable for us and investigators as it allows us to uncover lists that focus on specific topics or people of interest. Additionally, as mentioned earlier, each list displays the creator's handle and the complete list of members. This may aid in mapping networks of relevant individuals and accounts for your investigation. There are two methods to search for public Twitter lists containing specific keywords. Number one, search for public Twitter lists through user profile. So on your Twitter account, you can select the lists, there you go, we've done it before, from the left sidebar and write your keyword of interest at the top, as seen below. So remember, if we're here and you click lists, you can just search there, just put whatever keyword you want. And number two, search for public Twitter lists through address bar. Alternatively, you can just write the following on the address bar, twitter.com slash i slash list slash search question mark q equal sign keyword. It's quite long. And substitute keyword with whatever you want. In the previous example, you would write twitter.com slash i slash list slash search question mark q equal OSINT as seen below. When searching for public list, it's possible to look for any set of characters. This can be a word, an emoji or a number. 
the search results will display any public lists that include your search term either in the list title or description. Below are three examples of public Twitter lists containing the following search characters. The first one, just a word world, the second 2023, and the third an emoji with a tongue out. So you can see there the keyword world, and you can see how it's on the title of this one, this one, this one, and this one will probably be on the description. And the same there, 1023, all of them on the title and the emoji, this two have on the title and this two will be on the description. Limitation of searching for Twitter lists. Although you can search for any keywords, numbers or emojis, there are a few limitations to this feature. If you want to search for a term that consists of multiple keywords, the results will typically display only one of them, often the first one. For instance, you can search for World Cup as a single term, but if you were to search for World Cup as two separate keywords, the majority of the results will simply focus on the word world, while disregarding the second term. Similarly, combining a keyword with a number, such as Euro 2016, will provide targeted results, but searching for Euro space 2016 as two distinct terms won't yield the same outcome. The same limitations apply to emojis as well. While you can include multiple emojis in your search, the results will only display lists that contain one of the emojis, not both combined, even if there is no space between them. For instance, searching for Twitter list containing penguin emoji, desktop emoji will show public list containing either a penguin emoji or a desktop emoji, but not both necessarily together. This limitation becomes apparent when searching for strings that require multiple keywords. Imagine that you're looking for public Twitter lists mentioning the famous professional golfer Tiger Woods. You would either have to search for Tiger Woods with no space and get zero results, as you see here, or you'd have to search for Tiger Woods and end up with lists focused on either Tigers or Woods, but not specifically the golf player. And in case you're wondering why I wouldn't just add the quotation marks to force Twitter's search engine to recognize this as a single string, I have done that, it still doesn't work. So you can see there, I have added the quotation marks, and again, it'll just search for mostly the word Tiger. There's a few you have Woods, UK, Woods and Trees, thank you, <laughs> Tiger stuff, but it doesn't recognize this as Tiger Woods. Although you could spot a Tiger Woods photo here, so perhaps this list is actually by Tiger Woods, but most of them will not be. Another constraint worth noting is the limitation on the number of search results. At no point I was able to retrieve a list with more than 20 results. It's possible that this restriction might change in the future, but for now you will not be able to find more than 20 public lists using any combination of keywords. So if you go there, if you count it, it will not ever be more than 20. This limitation, however, does not seem to affect the lists that you are on. So if you check there, it will be more than 20. If you have been included more than 20, it will just give you the full list. So conclusion. Twitter lists are an extremely useful data source for OSINT analysts. By exploring the public list created by a Twitter account, analyzing lists that contain a specific profile, and searching for lists with specific keywords, analysts can gain deep insights into user interests, affiliations, and connections. These insights help paint a comprehensive picture of online presence and audience perception. And I have included a too long didn't read. So if you want to find all public lists created by a Twitter account, this is what you write, twitter.com slash or whatever username you want, slash lists. If you want to find all public lists containing a specific profile, you write twitter.com slash or whatever username, slash list slash memberships. Or if you want to find up to 20 public lists containing a specific keyword, you write twitter.com slash i slash 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 search question mark q equal gradix or whatever the keyword. And you can replace gradix with whatever you need. In the two first cases, it has to be a username of someone that has a Twitter account. And the last one will be a keyword that you'll be searching for. And that is it. Thank you for listening.